Welcome. Welcome to the Crossroads of the West program call. I wish I could see all my friends tonight. Thank you all for joining us. First off, I want to apologize. Last, uh, last call, I promised you an organization chart, which I have not delivered on, and I have not forgotten it. Uh, I know you all are wondering who's in charge of what and how to get a hold of them, and uh, it is forthcoming. Uh, I want to make sure everybody knows that this call, uh, this call is announced on email uh, that goes out to the council, and it's also on the Facebook uh, calendar. Acknowledging that a lot of people don't have Facebook, uh, it will also, going forward, be on the council calendar, so you'll be able to go to the council website and take a look at that and get the information for viewing and, uh, and going forward. Please share with your friends uh, this call so that everyone can participate and get all the information they need. I would like to introduce our guests for this evening. Uh, Russ Hunsaker, our council president, will be joining us uh, presently for a Meet the President. Fulani Graham, our council advancement chair, is with us, as well as Mike Perkins, our council training chair. Joe Boulay is our council activities and service chair. Josh Hackey is the director of support services, and Linda Vaughn is the co-chair uh, for Council and Cub Scouting with Marinda Reeder. Uh, Marinda may be joining us later, but Linda will be filling us in on everything we need to know. Prior to moving forward, I'd like to make some announcements on the calendar or rather have some of our guests that are with us tonight do so. Joe, can you talk to us a little bit uh, about the upcoming activity events? Yeah, we're still working on 2021, but we do have three events in 2020. Uh, the first one is next week. We have the Bike the Bear. It's next Friday, the 25th and the 26th. It'll be at Bear Lake and Camp Hunt. Um, you can register all the way up until the, the time it starts. Um, I think right now it just switched to $35 for uh, scouts, $45 for non-scouts. And I think if you just want to go for the dinner on Friday night, it's $10. But that's on the council website and uh, all the information is on there. Uh, the other event that we have in October is uh, Jamboree on the Air or the Internet, and that's hosted by the World Scouting Organization. The link's on our website. It's a free event that goes for three days. Uh, it's all on the Internet, and it's a good way to meet other scouts. I think last year they had uh, one and a half million scouts from 160 countries participate. Uh, so you can get your international uh, flavor there uh, doing that. The last event we have in November will be our virtual faith hike. That's also on the council website. It's $3.50 per person. Um, it's going to go over two nights. The first night's only an hour long where they have a little faith uh, uh, event with a guest speaker, and the guest speaker is going to be uh, Charles Dahlquist on that Friday night. On the next day, the 7th of November, will be a four-hour virtual hike through 10 different places of worship uh, around the, uh, the area. So that looks like a good event for a duty to God square filler. Um, those are the three events that we have coming up. Uh, something to announce uh, council-wise, the Klondikes, we always have questions about Klondikes. So right now, it's been determined that all Klondikes will be by district. Uh, right now, the council will not, uh, at least for the immediate future, be sponsoring uh, Klondike. That will be the districts. And also, uh, that includes camperees. Uh, we, are, we are looking as a council to sponsoring a council camperee, maybe next fall, with the, um, the focus on STEM merit badges. Uh, more of that to come, hopefully, once we get that going. Those are the events that we got coming up, uh, Brent. Thank you so much, Joe. Uh, I will be at Bike the Bear, and if you are also going to be there, won't you please come say hello? And uh, on Joda, having participated in that many years, uh, if you're going to participate in it, I'd encourage you to order patches early because they always run out. Uh, Mr. Perkins, would you uh, grace us with a few announcements on training? Yes, uh, we've got uh, Baloo coming up the 2nd and 3rd of October at Camp Tracy. It's, uh, we've got a wonderful lady who runs that, and uh, she's so excited and has a lot of enthusiasm. And so if you need to have Baloo so you can take your pack or den out on an outdoor excursion, you need to go to this, and that it, you will be well rewarded. 
Uh, Leave No Trace Trainer will be on 19th through the 24th of October. That's online. And that's a really a good course too. In fact, uh, this is pretty innovative. I think we're the only council in the United States that's been doing the Leave No Trace online. And in fact, most of the people who are attend that are from, uh, from out of council. One last note is that we are uh, thinking about creating a, uh, a little course similar to the uh, uh, Cato's Council for, for Scouters. And we'll we have more information about that, but that's a big, We'll, we'll see what we can do about that. We, we're, that's, we're brainstorming that right now. Fantastic, Mike. Thank you so much. Uh, Josh, I think uh, Ken, so uh, Ken, our uh, lodge advisor, is in a meeting at Tracy right now. And uh, 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 Josh, do you have any announcements uh, regarding upcoming OA events? So the inaugural Amadio Lodge, that's how you say Amadio, the Amadio Lodge, uh, Inaugural event will be October 9th and 10th. That'll be held at Camp Tracy. And you can register at utahscouts.org forward slash OA. The cost is $15. And at that event, uh, in addition to food and fellowship and uh, an opportunity to maybe get to know some folks that you may not know from different parts of the council, we will be having lodge officer elections at that event. And uh, there is a full calendar of Order of Bureau activities and they are at utahscouts.org forward slash OA or on the council's calendar, they're on both. So you can access them either way. And uh, we hope that you'll pass the word along to your Order of the Arrow members in your troops and in your districts and uh, encourage them to participate. There are three ordeals that are being held this weekend. There will be one at Camp Mapledale. There is another at Freedom Hills Park in Centerville. And there is an ordeal at Camp Hunt in the Bear Lake Valley that it, they are all going on this weekend. I looked at the the numbers today and between the three ordeals, we've got about 150 candidates. Uh, phenomenal. <laughs> Blow away as uh, I look at it and uh, just very excited for the future. There's a lot of excitement in the order of the arrow right now and uh, would certainly encourage adult uh, and youth to participate in a variety of activities. Uh, Brett mentioned that our lodge advisor, Ken Jepson, is in a meeting tonight. He's actually having an orientation meeting with the new chapter advisors. And so there's a lot happening with the order of the hour. There's been a lot that's been happening. It's purposely been a, a methodical process to ensure that all of the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed as we move uh, away from the stoic traditions of three legacy lodges, wonderful legacy order the arrow lodges to a new crossroads of the council lodge, the Amadio Lodge. I also wanted to mention, Brett, one thing about Bike the Bear uh, in follow up to something Joe said. I looked at the registration numbers today for Bike the Bear and those numbers stand today at 303. Oh my. Uh, so it's going to be an awesome weekend up at Bear Lake and uh, there's plenty of room. We, we could bike a couple thousand people there and be okay. We have lots of space at Bear Lake Aquatic Space for folks to camp and we uh, would encourage you to camp for Friday night and if you would like is, is your troop or or, or even your pack wants to come up for the day, come on up and uh, let's, let's uh, let you play in the water or go ride your bicycle. You can camp uh, for a night or two with your troop, your crew, or do some family camping with your pack. And uh, there's a, a fully supported bike ride around the entirety of Bear Lake, which is nearly 50 miles exactly. So. It's going to be a great event. Lots of good things happening. Fantastic, Josh. Thank you so much. And I'm excited about uh, Bike the Bear. Um, 
I, uh, uh, well, I lost my thought. I had a thought there and I went right out the window. Oh, I know what I was going to say, Josh. Are you, uh, are you able to monitor the Facebook uh, chat? And do we have chat uh, permissions opened up for people to ask questions uh, in, in the Zoom? Yes, we do. Okay, oh, there's the first one right there. So we'll hold questions here for just a little bit. Is, uh, is uh, Russ able to join us now? Is he ready? I'm here, Brad. Hey, there you go, President. I'd like hey, to thank you very much. Yeah, I'd like to introduce to everybody uh, our, our council president, Russ Hunsaker, who's absolutely phenomenal. He's a prior uh, uh, council president from the East Coast. He's very experienced. I've had the opportunity to work with him for several years. I admire him. He's a consummate scouter. Um, president Russ, it's over to you. Well, thank you. Those are very kind words, Brett. And uh, I'd like to reciprocate so with some kind words to you and to your committee as a whole. Um, I, first of all, those who uh, don't know Brett or are getting to know Brett, he's the type of man that is at the, uh, not only is he a scoutmaster, but he's the ultimate camper and the ultimate understander of all things that are scouting. Uh, I had a chance to, to be with him and his troop at Mapledale as we went down and did a camp inspection and you'd all be impressed by his uh, troop, their organization, and their capacity to deliver on the Scout Wolf and Law uh, while they're at summer camp. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to ask Brett yet about his troop and about his experience at uh, Mapledale, please do so. But I'm very thankful for each of you on the program team. Uh, for those who do know me, program is where my heart is. And it's where I, I'd love to, to be able to be part of scouting is with the program. Uh, the rest of the, the work, uh, the administrative pieces are the necessary evil to be able uh, for us to deliver on the program components that are there. So very thankful for the work that you're doing and very thankful for each of you for the multiple hours that you're putting in every single week. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I would say when the time is right, Brett, uh, don't be afraid we've spent at the, uh, the uh, the, uh, the board and the key three spent the weekend at, uh, at Camp Hinkley this weekend, which Brett and his wife, uh, Tina, were there. And we had a chance to be able to start building our strategic plan for the next five years. And the goals that were there, and you'll guess uh, and be true in that guess, that many of those plans had to do with uh, some of the program delivery and supporting, just supporting the program delivery. So at some point in time, I'm sure Brett will be glad to be able to discuss those objectives and to, to be able to get you, your help to be able to deliver on them. So thank you, Brett, for the good work, and thank you for the program uh, committee and, the, and your efforts to be able to help us uh, deliver on the Scout Oath and Promise. Thank you, President, and uh, on behalf of all of us, so you're doing just a phenomenal job. Well, thank you. Are there any questions for our Council President? I don't see any posted yet, but why don't we give people a, a minute to type and to ponder. And uh, while we're doing that, I'd like to introduce you to Linda Vaughn. Uh, I, I am a scouter. Uh, I bleed khaki. I have no idea what it takes to be a Cub Master. I tried it once and I was an abysmal failure. <laughs> Lin, Linda Vaughn is, uh, is a tremendous, tremendous Cub Scouter. Linda, would you tell us a little bit more about what's coming up? I will. Um, we have looked at the Cub Scout um, calendar for the next year, and we have three events that we'd like you to put on your calendar. The first one is the week of February 22nd in 2021. We are going to be setting up a Cub Scout swimming day at a rec center. We have some folks in the northern part of our council that have done this before, and we are going to have them help organize that so that we can see how to do it. As we set up these council events, we realize how difficult it might be to bring your PACs long distances. So we would like to invite all of our district activity people to come and see how something like this swimming day is done so that you can uh, replicate it down in your areas of the council so that more of our Cub Scouts and PACs can participate in these events. Um, anyone is welcome to come. We will have a um, probably a $5 fee to cover the rental fee and hopefully have some sort of patch or recognition. So look for that first event uh, the last week of February. We are then going to have a Saturday Pinewood Derby 
um, event up at Camp Tracy. We understand that our council is the proud owner of several fine uh, Pinewood Derby tracks and we would like to set those up in our Camp Tracy Lodge and have some fun with our Pinewood Derbies. So we hope that all of our packs will run their own Pinewood Derbies and then send some cars up and have some fun with us. Um, we are hoping to, to have our, our uh, venturing crews help with some of these events. What we'd like to model is how well a venturing crew can uh, mentor and be part of our Cub Scout activities. This isn't something we've done very much in our council before, but this is certainly the way to do that and give these um, older youth an opportunity to uh, mentor these younger children um, and keep them and show them why they should stay in scouting. So look for that the last, the Saturday, April 17th. Um, we then are looking for in, in the Saturday, October 23rd, that, that week before Halloween, we are looking to set up a haunted trails at Camp Mapledale. Uh, they have done this several years. And so we're gonna go down to that area of our council and have them show us um, how to have a wonderful event um, in the woods in October. Uh, we have Nicole Johnson who has run the event before, has agreed to head up that team. Um, again, we would like to invite as many people that would like to come and watch what happens, participate in it, and be able to take some of the how-tos back with them. In addition to, and so I'll, each one of those events, there will be a, 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 just a small fee just to cover some of the recognition and probably some snacks or other um, things that would, would be needed to run the event. Um, for the summertime, we really want to encourage our PACs to go to the council website and to click on the camp link across the, the top ribbon. Um, there are several Cub Scout day camps that will be run throughout the council. Camp Tracy, Camp Five, Camp Kiesel, Camp Mapledale will all have summertime Cub Scout, um, camp, Cub Scout day camps. And the registration is available right now, so you can pick the best time for your boys and your girls to go up to those areas and, and have a fun day at camp. The, one of the, the best kept secrets in our council um, is the traveling day camps. The day camps that come to your area set up and have a wonderful event. So if you are in Hurricane Richfield or Roosevelt, Utah, please check out those traveling day camp opportunities. Um, if you would like to be an active participant and help run them, we would love to have you um, reach out to the council, say, I'd like to be put, um, I'd like to help and volunteer. I think that there are a lot of Cub Scout leaders out there that may not be involved with a pack at this time, but are still anxious to be involved in the Cub Scouting program and deliver some fun to our youth. So we would invite you to reach out, give me a call, email me, uh, reach out to, um, to Josh at the council and he'll send you our way uh, so that we can um, sign you up and have you be an adult um, mentor and participant in planning and running these events. So we look forward to some fun next year. We would invite all of our district activity chairmans in our Cub Scout areas to, to reach out and come and see how to run these events and then um, as 2022 comes around, duplicate them in your areas so that more Cub Scouts have the opportunities to have fun outside. So thank you. Linda? Fantastic, Linda, thank you so much. I have a question for Linda. Okay. What were those towns again? Roosevelt? Hurricane? And Richfield. Okay, thank you. And the best the best way to find out where they are and when they are is when you go to the camp link, the drop down box will show you traveling day camps. Okay, I'll do and that. That's a, that's a great just, way to get that opportunity. Well, I want to get the word out because those are all in my area. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Linda.
there's quite a few questions rolling in. I've got a couple of more things on the agenda, and then we'll start hitting the questions hard. Um, Joe, could you, Lorna Kosai uh, uh, posted here, and she's not a, uh, we should have had her on here as a panelist. Joe, would you mind uh, updating real quick on scouting for food on behalf of Lorna? And thank you, Lorna, for bringing that up. Sure. Uh, Lorna has been working hard to uh, work on the scouting for food since right now it's a standalone event for the scouts um, in conjunction, hopefully, with the National Guard. So we're looking at two dates to support a super bowl of caring, and that's January 30th and February 6th, 2021. Uh, there'll be more details to come. We're looking at some different options, but we wanna basically support uh, local pantries, uh, food banks, things like that. Uh, we're looking at different options, door-to-door -door food collection. We might collect at groceries, uh, pantry drop-offs, maybe a combination of, of all that stuff. But uh, those are the two important dates that we have now. And Lorna will work out the details. We'll have more things coming forward as we get closer to uh, scouting for food. But we wanna make it a uh, council-wide event to support your local pantries. So that's basically it, right? Fantastic, Joe, thank you. And Lorna, th for those of you who don't know Lorna Kosai, she just retired from the Bountiful Food Pantry. She was the director there and is uh, is the consummate food uh, uh, gathering person. She's passionate about feeding people and she's the right person to head this project up for the council. Thank you, Lorna, for all you do. Um, we have uh, several more questions but, uh, that have come out, but Pulani, would you mind, there's a, there's a number of questions about regarding um, Eagle, uh, Eagle extensions. Could you address that for us? Okay, so um, as a council advancement chair, I've been given the authority to grant COVID-19 extensions. Um, first, the first one ended, and then they added another one on that it was gonna end on September 30th, but they have now given us another one. So I can, we can um, grant extensions up to the 30th, 31st of December. Um, in order for a young man to qualify for this, I need a letter from him stating the reasons why he needs the extension and um, just a little bit of history and I need a address and a, and a name and an email address. Um, so far we have had quite a few boys that have gone through it and some of them have now finished and have gotten their eagles. Um, we still have a lot that are, are working through these extensions. So because the deadline is de December 31st, we actually can give one out on that day. So it doesn't mean that that's the last of the extension day. We could give it December 31st to go for three months. So it'd be March 31st before it would expire. But it just requires a letter telling me the problem, the issues, and, and I get in touch with the boy and we make it happen. Steve Kaiser, my vice chair, works with me on it, and he's the one that actually well, I've given you, the authority you to write the letters. Scouts, yeah. What's that? Yeah, you've done it for one of my own scouts, so I very much appreciate it. Uh, oh. I had a scout that needed an extension, and uh, and uh, and Steve signed that letter, so very much appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Pulani, there's That's a follow-up question here regarding uh, regarding who to submit paperwork to for extending the age for a special needs scout. Okay, so that goes to Roger Heslop. Roger's the chairman of the Disabilities Awareness Committee. Do you need contact information? Uh, that was from Scott, so uh, maybe you could reach out to Scott Anderson and just let him know on that. Pilani, why, uh, why don't you look up the, the a phone number or an email address and then uh, let's see if we can provide that to Scott and anyone else who might need it. I have it right here. Okay. 801-791-1526. Email rhes44 at gmail.com. Okay. I just posted that in the chat, so if anybody needs it, it's there. And uh, let's see. Uh, anything else, Pulani, before I move on? We'll likely circle back on some other questions. Not right now. Thank you so much, Pulani. I uh, appreciate everything that you do. 
Um, there's some questions on council properties. As you know, with the merger, we have a lot of properties. And uh, Josh, would you care to address that? You bet. We um, have the, the, under the direction of the council's key three, um, we have organized a properties committee that is assessing each of the 25 council properties and 16 additional excess properties that the council owns. Leases or um, in an, any other way uses. And so um, there really aren't any definitive decisions right now as to specifically what's gonna happen with a particular property or two. Um, more details of, of uh, our property situation will be coming out in the in the months to come. But uh, for now, uh, we're trying to get the, the facilities winterized properly so that things are ready to go for the spring. And if you are on the council's website, you'll note that we will be using next year 14 of our 25 facilities for one fashion or another next year. That's fantastic, Josh. Thank you for that update. And I'll, uh, I'll mention that, uh, that for those of you who have not signed up for a council camp uh, for next summer, uh, registrations are available and I would do that as soon as possible. Um, they, uh, we were uh, near maximum capacity this past summer. So uh, let's see, there's a question here uh, for Russ, but I think uh, uh, several of us could probably answer it. Um, uh, do we plan on establishing a conservation committee or any of the other committees that reside in the outdoor programs? Um, so uh, I don't know if uh, President Russ is still there, if he's back in his other meeting or Pulani, you wanna address some of that or? Uh, Russ, Russ isn't here, so why don't Mike, Mike, uh, Mike, and his group over, kind of oversee the leave no trace and conservation stuff. Mike, do you want to address that at all? Yeah, we already have a conservation committee. It's uh, I they're working on trainings right now, but uh, yes, it's pretty, uh, pretty dynamic committee. With it. it's a very large committee, so if you're, you're doing right. Thank you very much. That was from Tim. So Tim, if you'd like to volunteer, then uh, then uh, give give Mike a call. So I'm um, just going down the list of questions here. Um, let's see. Do we have the dates for Leave No Trace? Yes, it's the 19th through the 24th of October. It's virtual and online. You need to register by the 17th of October. And if you don't know how to do that, go to the council website scroll to scouting programs, scout, scroll to trainings, and then there you'll see leave no trace. Thank you very much. Linda, there's a question here about the dates for the Derby. Oh, you're muted, Linda. Yes. I, I put that up, it's on April 17th up at Camp Tracy. Fantastic, so thank you very much. I hope I can make that, that's a lot of fun, so. Um, Let's see. Uh, there was a Maple Dell Cub activity in October twenty on October twenty first. Um, the uh, with, with Brett, the Brett emphasis that, that yeah. that's October twenty first of two thousand twenty one. Excuse me, twenty twenty one. Thank you for the correction. Uh, there's a question from Dan about uh, the recording. Yes, this is recorded. And uh, Josh, how will we be uh, uh, posting or distributing this recording? We'll it will be on Facebook. Uh, tomorrow mid morning, and we will also post it on the council's website. Fantastic, thank you so much. And uh, Cheryl, uh, Joe, can you, Cheryl asked if we can mention real quick about BOA. Uh, can you provide an update for that, Joe? Yes, I just uh, sent uh, on the chat room the BOA contact is Cheryl Winterton, and I've got her email and telephone number. Uh, the first VOA event will be a retreat at Camp Tracy, uh, January 8th through the 10th, 21. Um, Cheryl has contacted, she had a list of all the crews and she sent out a letter to all the, the crews looking for volunteers and help. Um, we just want to encourage the folks out there that have crews or anybody else that wants to volunteer. Uh, we need your help. Cheryl needs your help to uh, build the VOA and to uh, take care of our youth 
uh, that are in the cruise. So um, if you're interested in that, her contact information is on the, uh, the chat room. That's it. Thank you so much, Joe. Okay. Uh, I don't see any other questions at this moment. Uh, if you'd like to post any, we'll give it just a minute or two. Thank you to everyone who participates and please uh, spread the word. Make sure that, uh, you know, if your district uh, program people are not involved, that they have a delegate that's involved and uh, your units uh, can participate. Uh, we want as many people on here as possible to be able to answer questions and we'll continue to have guests from other areas of the council uh, other than program. Program, as you may have noticed, encompasses activities and service, which is, you know, the, the first and most obvious thing for me as a, as a scoutmaster, but also training and advancement. So we have our three chairs with us tonight and, and, uh, and chairs for additional committees uh, with us. So um, look forward. Each month we'll have something a little bit different. And if you have something you'd like to be covered in depth, please let us know. You can email me directly. I'm going to put my email in the... Uh, in the chat, so if you just click on chat at the bottom, you'll you'll uh, you'll be able to see that email, and you can click on it and send me any comments or questions that you may have. Uh, I don't see any other questions coming in right now, so we'll keep it short and sweet. Thank you all for attending. Remember the third Wednesday of each month at 6:30 at this uh, same bat time and bat channel, as they say. Uh, check your emails. If you are not getting the email announcements, make sure to double check with the council and, and make sure that your email address is properly updated or you're not, uh, or the emails aren't being spammed, filtered. You can watch the Facebook events calendar uh, or the council calendar. Till we meet again, safe scouting and thank you all for being here. Bye-bye.